So the abdominal muscles, this is not really a long or a complicated lecture, and it's going to be pretty easy to put them on. As you can see, we have those serratus muscles that are going to the side, and those turn into the obliques. And from the back, you can see a little, you can see the obliques right here, and then there's this space in the back. So that's important to remember. And we also see our big uh, deltoid muscle, the cape that's coming over. Back itself is not going to be that difficult. Back is pretty much already done. But the abdominal muscles, as I said, these top two abdominals, depending on who's drawing them, sometimes you'll see this entire piece drawn as one. And I just want you to look at the shape. We'll, we'll go in depth with the shape when I start to draw with the drawing portion of the lecture. But notice that there are eight. And these are long and they're attached from top to bottom. And they are going all the way down into the groin area, which makes kind of a V shape, male or female. Abdominals are abdominals. And along the side, they are going to stop. They're going to stop at the hip. So that's going to be your landmark for your hip. So that is also another reason why you see people drawing the hip as a disc or just some underwear or something to that effect. Because once that stops, then we get into the gluteus muscles, which I will go ahead and do that when I start talking about uh, the legs, actually, not the back. We'll talk about it a little bit. Because unless you're drawing full on nude people, chances are you just need to know the shape of the gluteus maximus and gluteus medius. So what I just want to show you is that these are divided up in the sections and there's a slight pattern. Everybody's pattern to their abs. Most of us don't have abs. Well, we have them. We just can't see them. And those of us that that you can see them, there are all kinds of different patterns, but they do follow a basic shape that you could see right here. And so we're going to go ahead and draw some abs and I just am going to explain them to you and explain what happens when they get larger and uh, explain what you will see in contrast to a woman when you're drawing a female form when you're drawing that. So uh, as you can see from the side, they are kind of their ribs. They are ribbed on the side, and you know, you everybody wants to get those ripped abs. And so, let's go ahead and uh, continue the lecture and the drawing portion of it. And so, here we are drawing. So, when I'm drawing the abs, that pesky red again. When I'm drawing the abs, I'm gonna go ahead and make up my quick little mannequin. Whoops, that's not nice. So we got the chest in here. Okay, I think I made that a little bit too nutty. Anyway, I tend to do this. This is the oh, this is the overall shape that I'm looking for. So I kind of start up here. Get slightly a little skinnier, and it fans out. If you look at, you can also do this for the abs. This is what I basically want you to remember. The abs are starting up this way, and as they go down, we got one that's straight and we have another one that's straight. Belly button right here, more or less, and there's white space in between here. And then you can go back in and fill in the abs. Sometimes, as I said before, sometimes you'll see this entire top piece is just one. See that entire top piece is one. When we're looking at it from the side, we're going to see one, two, three. And then we'll see it down here. They're attached. And you can see this first one is kind of going down. This one is this way right here and this one flattens out and they are 
attached like this. So if I'm drawing a character and I'm drawing him, the character bent forward, and I got the chest right here. So what I'm looking at with the abs is I'm just picking out this shape right here. I know that it is going in, in succession. The top, por the top portion of it is having it covered up. And then I'll have like my serratus muscles coming in here. And I'm just going to, I usually just draw a line representation, but as the serratus muscles come down, that's when you get that. And that's a, this is a bit more of a stylized version of it. But here, right here is where you get, I probably should have moved this up a little bit, but anyway, that's where you're, it's going to turn into, so we got the serratus muscles and they're essentially doing this. The serratus muscles are doing this. You don't have to keep drawing each individual little portion of it. These are your love handles right here, the obliques, the love handles. And we know that we stop the love handles wherever the hip is going to be. And you can see they're attached. And sometimes you will also obviously see someone that just draws the love handles in draws them up in front. How they're attached like this is not as big of a deal when you're drawing surface anatomy, but as long as you know. So basically when you see someone draw the love handles in, you'll see them draw something like this, and that's this area in here. And from the back, we're going to have that little bit of space right there. But That's basically what you're seeing from the side. So you see this character drawn from the side. chest, shoulders, let's do the arm right here. When you see people draw that, that portion right here, they're drawing the love handles. That's going to be the back. We got the serratus muscles going. The abs are right about here. I think I'm drawing everything a little bit too fast. I apologize. Let me slow down a little bit. So when you're seeing the, the abdominals drawn in, these are actually all, on, the, on a skinnier person, these are not going to be as defined as you think unless they do a lot of abdominal exercises. But for the most part, you're just going to see them, this wall as a series of lines here. You can draw on the serratus. That's cool. But just know that sometimes you'll see a diagram and it won't be as defined as this. It'll just be all one shape, one shade, and it starts to angle down as it gets closer to the bottom. So if you're looking at it this way, so let's just draw a basic, basic human shape right here. Here's the chest. Here's that line for the abdominals. So your serratus is actually just doing this. And then the abs will be in the middle. So this top one is kind of up at an angle. And then they angle their way down. So, so I readjust that when it comes to the belly button. But... That's where it's located at. So you can make your own adjustments. And when you're looking at your photo reference, and again, this is going to come out just slightly because these are actually the obliques. But I just want, want you to see that, that muscle is doing that. We're going to cut up the muscle, obviously, a lot more once we start putting it on to the figure. And I want you to also notice all of the white space that's in between there. And that's what gives you 
a lot of the definitions, so there is a considerable amount of white space in between. So we'll want to keep that in mind when we're putting on the abdominals. So let's go ahead and put the abdominals on.